It's that kind of weekend coming through from an international weekend and watching Bafana Bafana play the way that they played, playing against Namibia and also playing against Zambia. How did they fare? That is the crux of the matter here today. And we want to be as interactive as possible. Get all of your thoughts into one because... You know what, it's not going to get more brutal and more honest as it's going to be tonight. We've also got the head coach of the Zambia national team, Chipolo Polo, uh, that is Coach Micho Shradojevic. Militant Shradojevic is here in studio with us tonight. So, he's a former Pirates coach, by the way. We all know the successes that he had over there. But right now, he is channeling the Zambian team to something that is really unbelievable. A bit of a blip against Kenya, we understand. But when I'm here with Klein Man, everything else changes. Who's strong? Klein Man. Uh, my results are very clean yeah. when it comes to Bafana Bafan. We're not getting Khrotman results. Mm. What is the problem? The uh, problem is very simple. I uh, say says it is. E federation, South African Federation. Mm. Uh, football, sometimes I find uh, we miss we must fix the federation. People who are appointing these coaches, we need to appoint to a high level. Sure. You can play good, win things, but coaching is good to Zolas. We need a knowledgeable mm -hmm. First of all, the appoint coach. The question is, job is federation. appoint coach. I've got respect personality. Personality is grand, but why, what, why the guy to coach the national team? Why is appointed for national team? If you was the interim coach by now, Ubambi the Patrick is cut The guy number one, who coach a and then he took coach academy, be with teacher. And then now he's a national team coach. He must prove himself that other coaches he tells him a federation. So you need to appoint a bantabas appoint Muntos Provile. Mustache on a man, I understand Mr. Simande according to a band to Patina and the late. He guys Provile. He less young cello and last time with me in a being funa language. Probably Ibe, he national team coach. And Mshambe Gube no Muntu, no man you bring a technical director, Gube no Muntu, oh, understand the South African football, no man abu on a pandi, or Fana Nabo, Kabo Pereira, as Kumango would be Brazil, Nati Pele, it does not define. Yeah, and then Ubega Umbega, Yenu Kevin Jobabe Chuso, and then Ubega structure Muntos or any head of development in South Africa. Bona Laban Beng Babala last time, in South of Peter, because those it's proven. Go no one elecop, good coach, but to send Zobega Naman, you can elecop Umbega for a longer future. Right. He's proved himself. Bo came to Rasmus and Shilo last to Super Sport Maspusan is on a banning. Uba Proba Kipi Labo Abu Abu Kamhelum coach. So I'm going to develop the national team. Nabo Faruk, Musai Pinda, Mina Nabo, Nabo Sem, Laban Kulman, I was proved. Right. And then it development, but Pinda, but communicating a Lama Tima is 16 with national team. Right. Kushkuti must make sure with each and every team go by a structure. So Uba Kona, Wabanda Bafana Nabo Nil Tovi, Akshinjang Alut, in terms of his structure, say, uh, of, as a federation, Jobusha Association, uh, yeah, Eli Lekha. I've got a good respect for a player, Kelo Gazala, but yeah. in terms of now, Mauzo Tixinchile, we need to tell the truth. Since has taken over, as we never, Khotmana Marizal Sanjan, because we're going backwards. Mm. In reality, why is so many development in South Africa, Khotmana Marizal Sanjan? Why is uh, 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 SAP? SAP, uh, SAP Simotipelik, mm -hmm. and played Africa champions, MTC? Ihangi Gopi. And then why do we call the South Africans Muntona 22 youngster? It's a different story. It's a different man who has a comfort zone too much. Mm -hmm. There's too much development and the federation is like Ukraine. I'm a team, 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 they don't have development. Mm. You understand? Yeah, it was. It's structure, I'm a team. Imagine, I'm a team, I'm a team, I'm a team. Once you appoint the knowledgeable coaches, I'm a development structure. The development of the Muntona Buma 17. At the age of six years, it's how you develop. As in Brazil is a fan and talent. Yeah. But you need a proper um fan develop it young age to move on. Yeah, yeah, but you looked in we suffer, but you look at hey, Sanzaga much in the national teams or Sanzaga with Ibanyana qualify you and World Cup, whether it's under twenty, under seventeen, they've been performing well. Siaguzo a lock, hang it. But thinking uh top team, Ibafana Bafan. 
So if you find a funny then good name king, Moba Spege born more than a banya band. Yes, the problem you go. But fun of a fun is playing different than a match in national teams. Yeah. The future good anger come up players who go from development in the yeah, uh, uh, national team. The continuity is equal. Yeah. So, good number players, where by now they are stuck. Maga few under 17, they can win World Cup and stuff. You will see him, some boy, one of them represent the national team in the next coming two years. Yeah. So, it tells you, Guti, a combination is equal. There's no coordination. You understand? That's why I'm showing you to Rodman Manja. We late for 2022 mm -hmm. World Cup. Anga again into footing so it national team. Maso Dana and Namiba Slan and Abu Zambia and then Slan the Butsuan and stuff. What are we trying to do? Some Gachivan. I mean, Mangabe e tapping Jenny Korovia, Ivory Coast Manji. Is what Lanani tap ya say ya abroad, Manji, friendly game. Right. Now, it tell you good those people they mean business. Tina Manja Masuga la Manja Gu Zambia, Slui Zambia. Strong in Namibia, Mong a Czech continent to number one Namibia is a choke. Masuga and the Butsuan. So it tell us good we trying to run away. And then Tina, Mounga Cheka Kurtman, Masnaba Nevar. Since 1996, Senkurman win Africa Cup of Nations. Pega de Akeping. Changing coaches. Yeah. Problem Maxi, you understand they can bring whatever Alberto Perer mm. Federation. Mm. And this team, they must structure each. The Matima is 16. And then Sakjeli the Kurtman, once Parade, Chiefs, Sundowns, can be on top of their game. It's going to be simple whoever will take over and mm. allow the national team. Uga point and over. Labo want to do it. It's chiefs and parrot and sundowns. Each and every year, we compete in the Champions League. So, we want to the Champions League. Is Mao's or Tatting and Zagzampul? I'm going to tell you that I'm going to play a lot of people. I love Sechebe. But him from Amazulu. Um, Tatting and Zagzampul. Ukutumela is filled parrots. Mzabe can just read. Ukutumela played for parrots. Mm. Eh, he's played so good, but I'm not parrots. Mm. And then you bring him to the national team. I'm going to shoot that as good. Yeah. But depending on the question mark, my name is Magaku. Yeah. He played with high tense play. I'm a player of fun, similar like he made parrots. He's standard basic, you understand. Yeah. And then as long as. But my fair, we might expect under the coaching of Eric Tinker. Yeah. Man of the match awards. Was assister was you need to go to the serious balance. You need to go to the serious balance. For example, you understand that these are friendlies and stuff. Sure. But in South Africa, you need to go to the change. By now, you need to go to the 2022. You need to go to the center right. As now, I call a winning team. You need to go to the South African team. As now, I team is going to compete. You need to go to the under 25. You need to go to the 1, 2, 26, 27. You need to go to the next level. You need to go to the next level. You need to go to the next level. All this team, we can compete in Abjela. I'm, I'm hearing all of the complaints that are coming through, and thank you so much for communicating uh, this with us, that uh, somewhere, somehow, uh, there seems to be a signal problem. A lot of those messages that are coming through on our YouTube channel feed, and uh, we are taking that into account. Uh, I do believe that our, uh, our technicians are working on that problem. If it is from our side, uh, it hopefully will be sorted out, because this is an important conversation. It's a conversation conversation that needs you to hear and also to see it uh, because it's happening live here in studio and plain man here doesn't mess around when it comes to being honest he's talked about the structure he's talked about fixing that and as much as we're going to fix the signal we're going to fix Bafana Bafana hopefully uh, so that things are smooth running and we're able to get some form of answers as well from the top oh coach is he the man also so sagitina as qualifies for AFCON. As so set in, I was far away World Cup. Uh, the problem is that I respect the person who is a 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 person who is We've got nothing to lose. We're playing a friend. Mm -hmm. We understand. We're playing a friend's a leader. But we go sensitive position when they. He took out to Charlie. We understand. Mm -hmm. But keep an arm going. We understand. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Not this guy. What's his name? He took out to. Uh, 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 yeah, he took out to Charlie. Charlie, yes. But keep an arm going. Right, yeah. And then he had to put to. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. Yeah. And first of all, most of sensitive. Mm -hmm. Here. In the middle, you're leading one knee. Mm -hmm. So we have to lose the shape. Then you don't tell me about the question. Magazo attack on my full pegs. Nabantas, you go to the machine, go to the machine, go to the machine. 
Shanti is not a natural left back, and Rifosa is not a natural right back. Right. The is three maninga kulezo. Uthulu guti guba lomfa numdisha no Tyson. Any Zambia the coach is clever. Very knowledgeable. And the Bonil Gwenzenja after his substitution, mm. was I overload? <laughs> it's very clever. Why I overload? I've got the respect. Mm. I have to be honest, not because it's in studio, I mean, I'm not going to First of all, I could see the way of fluid in the corner. They're not any, any, we should team a keeper lands, man. Yeah. You understand? There's a good coordination. We are going to run in the fight three. We're starting point where I'm going to build up at the back. We're going to build up at the back. We're going to build up at the movement of the pole is vital. Mm. Nimboni le ba chigega ni inkabanga they are playing away but benga tiku ba iba ba hosta. Hmm 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 hmm. Clean man is here. We got Coach Militant Shradojevic uh, who's going to be joining us as well. He is the Zambian national team coach and he is the man who was responsible for Ushais uh, Park and Shilugoti. He's got the knowledge. Yeah. And I loved the way they were playing. The attack play, even when they were making substitutions, they were effective substitutions that bore results. If you look at who scored, if you look at who was providing the assists, it was timely from the bench. On the bench, yeah. Yeah. In Bonne, you should take a Maria Sondesa, the Scotty, a coach, a column. There was a water break. On Bonneva Sondesa, he came. He believed in his players. Gunala Ayazo Abashai Zandra with a super. That's class. It tells you that he's got to believe. I call him a crown in the training. He knows the strength of a cheat to go to Peganda. Once he is South Africa, he's coach in South Africa. He's been in South Africa. Mom, I'm checker. He strengths to be a sars. He should be a sars. He's got to be a point. Right. Labantu Laba, I know with him a full pick up. They like to attack. We understand. Mom, I'm checker. We need to be a pension right. Yeah. It's from on the bench. Mm -hmm. And I would say, uh, we were fortunate. Tumdisha has helped us. You're supposed to be beaten by four. It's team dominated. This Zambia yesterday dominated. And it tell you, they are team that are strong. They know strength each other. Hey, an intensity. Everybody will uh, tackle. If Tumdisha given Uti Polabeligu, coming from slightly behind, but also from the side, he had to be. Hundred percent accurate. Otherwise, because of a penalty, maybe it was a But yeah, and given how coach beats or the technical team in sundowns, that the beginning is a more opportunity. We come back with a bandaban and get a look. We criticize. We say, "Hey, I'm keeping, I'm keeping." But but, say, "Kolela Gwen, Kubega Zala," and he prize. As he told you, Latin as South Africa, maybe you don't realize some money is all. It tells you what development. Yeah. The boy is from Santa's development. They believe in him. We can see the whole man. Whether it's bad, when the mistake might be as good, the boy is capable. Yes. You understand? Yes. When I'm a mistake, I went to Zile, but yet to learn. Nationally, yesterday, residents, Parmesan, yeah. you understand? We can see the, it was him and Zambia. Yesterday, we were going to save him for number three. Mm. They were vital. Mm -hmm. And then Jobang Yishong Iti, uh, situation about four versus two, uh, three versus two. Nimboni Lumdisha Begu sometimes told you to, uh, sometimes with Tyson, we should no longer be good Tyson, however, mm -hmm. uh, we were going to be punished. In front of me, I said, I'm going to be a Santa told you to a Caesar. It tells you now the timing. And I'm going to hide to you a moment. So, in Zambia, that's why it's initially Zandra, I coach, I'm sorry. Uh, Rudman Jobang Yishong, man's a leader one nil away. You change. Omunimuntu a change. Psychologically dead. Players and the coach. So it tells you that like coach Guti Aksu Munto Tatazela. He knows his story. Mm -hmm. He had to tell his players ne what a break, but little by little one need. Guti chance began. They play similar. Le, just that by, by, by extend the intensity it was higher. Mm -hmm. But it tempo was yeah, Pagama. And then Tina they they knew Guti they are not see a leader and then no such a full pack so can't. And when they go shanty, when they go, they go with false. Two against two. Which are the Mela Zion's mistake because Mela Buye as a take healer. That's what I told you look at. Under pressure. A band of being at the big criticizer who to learn each other. He never ends wrong. In and don't chill, I know to learn in Clarence Chella. First of all, a crowd in you must cover a distance. When we are defended, it doesn't mean good kick some border pegale who should you a good defend. You must check area, peg around to go to go. You create a massive piece and down the wrong. So to learn, sometimes you follow a ball. And as a clever defender, must be able to see opponent there on the ball. A clever defender, we understand. And uh, as in your foot, between him and Umdisha, there was no sweeper. 
ipola belba jamba because umfana nangu kumplay mumdisha ngoba uwasi luke save ama pola vitali you know why yeah. mumdisha was a marker uchulani was a sweeper is all the wingi boninga kona but begu ngoba ngati umfana mumdisha we are sweeper because uchulani it does ipola lal kono ya follow mm. ipola zali mili li goes ile begu chola another thing a problem yaki aga guazu kufule li pola when the keeper start li pola it give us kutsil kabi pambili oi option go te al roll again actually build a play from a move agamnikezele opo akakwazi because of uh, it is not clever yeah. you understand if i'm a full back i side in so you need to kutahlalela ku 18 era ngishoot e corner la corner clever team abeki abe ne able ukubeki game but bahlalele nalo muntu man u Darren Kid lapha ku Everts yeah as ngisho ngithi uthulani is not comfortable bahlalele uqinisile but is not comfortable mina ngumtsheli le ngathi namanje upare to beki exposure zo ithola it's a reality ke nezo lo beki bonisa ukuthi it's a real test le any zambia honest ngisha li zandla ngisayiphinda nama you know we structured team and energetic ebani mm-hmm. energy when they lost the ball they press aside yeah. we couldn't even make seven touches <laughs> Even oh, intercept, five. intercept your second goal no. to Bonil. Yeah. And back here, eh, what 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 i coaching they decided like chele ukuthi ubani kumele aqala ngeke uzuke ukuthi ubani uqalile because i think the one that they came on the bench were more stronger yes it tells you that yeah. it's selection it tells you the even the time we water break lap break by tatile we identify abadlali ukuthi ubonile sha ma first pump ethi when great play yeah. ba what your first pump yeah. why when great play well covered Bali, ground covered Bali, well done. so by understand good okay i role yami ngitshelwe yona ukuthi ngiyenze ngiyayenza ngoba na ku coach uyangitshela ukuthi ngenze kahle so laba banyeke hlamba bangawatholanga ngale oma fist pump baye buza bona ukuthi into wrong ngiyenzile mina which then does what it makes you to become mm. a better player who mm. your football second half after leo water yeah it's a reality ngoba yaba reward amaqeqe wenza kanjalo coach right immediately enze kanjalo edi we highly motivated those players they were highly motivated mangwa ba cheka be ba lilwa wa nil makayenza kanjalo coach because u coach une still ya uya beka bona ukuthi nenze inde right you unfortunately na, na, na consider mm. but you need now you understand ukuthi you need to go back le nchubeka ngale ntweni wenzayo but knowing ngenxa enqondweni akuthi sikona introduce ama um, ithread e benchin mm. Because good unit depth. And in South Africa was already dead. Ngoba be dalanga ke really one. Right, still hang out with the uh, clean man here as we break down the issues around Bafana Bafana and uh, lots of your comments that have been coming through. A lot of you are unhappy though with the application uh, that was seen within the national team and their performance. Never mind the fact that the issues around the jersey were just a, a complete mess. I'm a pesh, I'm a pesh, I'm a pesh. One of the former Bafana players sent me a message earlier said, you know, Bafana Bafana were playing in patches, which you could always link to the play or you could link to a patch at Econ. That's not how you want your national team to be represented, man. Junior? Yeah, I've seen the current cool. Yeah, a national team, that's about it's a national team. It tells you that it's a national club. You need to be very presentive. Like, you need to be very good appearance when you have a good job. I think we as South African people are not going to be able to do it. If we have a good national team, we are going to be able to do it. We are going to be able to do it. We are going to be able to do it. You, you win some things and then you get respected. In Brazil, when they won World Cups, they won the And it's going to take time. It's not going to happen overnight. You can bring, for instance, by bring Alberto Pereira. Mm-hmm. He brought to Pizom Simon in 2010. Mm-hmm. Everybody in South Africa is going to be a good thing. He's going to be a good thing. Out of the blues. We couldn't even qualify hosting and a ganja and host a ganja and I'm going to check the national team. It tells you, I'm going to see expecting to end this coach now. Ugling on Kurung Kuru, Jobang is showing it to Glingo Crest because the foundation is a grand. We not, I'm going to say, we cannot go to see this year prepare. I'm going to put on, I'm going to put on, I'm going to put on, we understand. We should have a team to now on KBS in Zambia. It tells you standard. 
Yang understand aku tu mana? Ngoba i reality, kita mampir ni mampir most of them, mampir ni balai South Africa. We understand in the China we play with international players about four five. As a question, man, why is not the coaching and bizanga who come here and coach? It tells you when you go truly speaking, he need to prove himself. Sure. Yeah, he magazo bi zukam khelum kwa jo rutula ni serero. Uzo mchelukti. He's been coached by top class coaches those players. It tells you in South Africa ni he coaching ni born. He ingin a sharp federation. Why appoint him defensive? It tells you into joba ni shonge trutman ti na mas. Federation, you need to you need knowledgeable people about the daily ball. And I wish we'd not daily do zolas. Got a Dallas tip is abandu man clean man Dallas tip is abandu kuti. We we're gonna change so so when this end do differently this time around. And I'm under Batlale be net him, but man be aban niga is scary. But hey, 2020 this is about 2030. So local school man ganing in 1996. Yeah, Rotman, you must come. The reason kulu yonge 96 is those people they want it. Yeah. It's a reality. Numbers don't lie. But it's a reality. It's a reality. It's a reality. It's simple. Once cars achieve parade sundowns, can, can be more structured and perform. Compete the Champions League. See who will win. You understand? And if you want to win the league, it can be more balanced than sundowns or whatever. It can be simple for a national team coach to get a point. And in the federation, it's a reality. But whoever has a point, a point a coach that Angin agak susah, tapi bangga mentali seleksi. A coach also communicate and alamat development coach. Kau be same philosophy. You cannot bring a coach who told you the under twenty eight is lala ipol passing ball passa. It is fluid. They are fluid. Best to tell the coach who see the national team is lala ngai effort. I do. So kerana mana guni yang agamel gulung ini so jawab ini syong itu gue. The seleksi ni tells you aiko balance. The coach the 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 seleksi ni nzil aiko balance kau kau mini team yang kini boleh. Yeah. All right. We're gonna be heading off to the airport soon. Because uh, one of our players is about to head off uh, back to Europe. And um, I, I wish him a safe flight. He's looking very, very cool and funky there. And that's a stylish man that I've always known all of these years. Percy Tao, good evening. Welcome to the show. Good evening, Mr. Rob. Thank you, you for doing? having me. Are you good? I'm, do I'm doing okay. How are you? I'm strong. Good to see you, man. <laughs> Yeah, it's been long. Nice to see you too. Yeah, I'm here with Lane Mine. I don't know if you've ever uh, spoken to him in recent time. He's spoken so many good things about you and your play as well, uh, whether you're playing for the national team or what you've been doing as well overseas. Uh, that's what Junior Kanye will say a big up to oh. him. Yeah, he's here. Oh, Junior. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I'm a cool man. One of the best talent I've ever witnessed. Yeah. yeah. We'll pay people. Ingwenyale Rodman, you guys are off the ball. Modern football players, they can't play off the ball. So he must start. Those, he reminds me of Abonema, Kaka, Abandabanjeng, Abu Coutinho, Messi. It's similar like him. Hey! How good he is. How good he is. How good he is. He's just described you in the most glowing way. And we were so excited. I mean, when we saw that assist that you provided for Keegan Dolly, we were like, my goodness, we've missed this kind of football within the national team. And I'm sure you would have felt the same at that stage, Percy. Yeah, I think at that moment we felt we uh, were getting stronger and we we're feeling we we're getting more and more and more into the game, starting to play more more up front and trying to get the space behind. Because in the first half, they, they really closed it up. But then, yeah, we we're just trying to get a goal. And luckily enough, we got a, a good goal from Keegan. But how are you finding the structure compared to, let's say, previously when you were in camp and how you were aligning with your teammates? Because I, I can imagine that a lot of the camps you come in, you find different players. Uh, so you have to almost start from scratch, trying to get combinations going. How did you find this particular camp? I look, I think I came in late in, in camp because of the traveling corona. And then I, when I got there, I was able to do few, to do a few sessions with the whole group, and the other guys were playing on Thursday, so we didn't do much. So it's, it's always like a challenge for us to, to have new players and try to, to have combinations, relationships, and trying to speak to each other. Because most of the time, when everyone gets into the national team, they get shy. Some of them, they don't talk a lot. So yeah, we still try to get them out of, out of their shells. So yeah. Because you need that, though. I mean, you need that communication, Percy, so that you understand uh, who you're with. Or if you don't even know the guy and he's been called up for the first time, you need to understand how he plays and how he can yeah. feed off your type of play. H how do you try, given your experience with the national team, to draw them closer 
to you, get them to talk to you, get them to understand at least their philosophy, never mind what the coach is saying. Yeah. What I normally do is I, I make jokes with them. I try and give them nicknames and try and just <laughs> have a little bit of fun. At training, try and pass them a lot the balls. Then we get to speak in the bus. Whenever I see them speaking, sitting alone, I go to them and speak to them also. So, yeah, that has helped a little bit in this camp because I was able to get to know the other guys better. Mm. But yeah. but when you go away, and I'm sure, I mean, I, I know your mentality, it's a winner. When you go away having failed to get a result against Namibia, having lost against Zambia, how does that sit with you? You're going to be on the airplane for a couple of hours now heading back to Europe. What goes through your mind and to say, are we progressing? Are we stagnant? W what's happening in Percy Dow's mind? Yeah, there's a lot of question marks in around everything. My performance and how I could have done better. And I always have the image. The image is in my mind of everything, all the events that took place during the match, the chances that I missed, the, the missed pass that I made, the easy balls that I lost. So everything still in my mind. And then you love to go back to Europe with a win. Because I know it, it boosts your mood when you go back there and you hear the other guys speak about how well they did with the internationals. And you look at yourself and you've drawn against uh, Namibia and lost to Zambia. So yeah, it kind of hurts. Does has <laughs> no absolutely, and you wouldn't be a pro if you if you didn't feel hurt. Uh, Kleinman, for uh, the with one or two before in Yamala. Yeah, in Guenya, uh, first 20 minutes, uh, definitely show it tells you a system in Boni Ruti system, Mina mm. Bengin Bonangat is playing sort of for number nine. After 30 minutes, 20, 25, we were drafted like a right, Gushuti Bega Kata in, in Yaulak, which is big right Kakulu, he position whereby Aksumun Dota, La Gusanta, sort of four, two, three, one. We should play three times on system. Lea, we want to be three million move. So I was going to make a position with be stable, more of specific. Mm -hmm. You need him as players as a free role. Understand, must lose the pole with a good shape. So, in when you mean any nigga, go on, kill him a playing Sasha, him and Luther sing. You won't tell him it's a team, a coach, I balance. Yeah. Luther, he came and was one of the measures against Namibia for me. Sure. He came and scored, and then the coach put him on the bench. Yeah. For what I don't understand, put him in Pacey. Okay, and I love him, one of the best, also a player. Mm -hmm. But the shape I go right. He's not on the right shape with uh, talent at all. Mm -hmm. So we need to keep the pressure off the uh, pace. Mm -hmm. If these three, Kigan, Ulo, Upesi, and Uputuluta, and then there's Kemi Terasmas. And then Ukumbule Labantu Labaskuman, which has been in Europe. Kunara Tingi understanding now, Ukemi. If ye, Uvalo, Mouse of Fagabukutumela, see Shuti, Kanjan, he pressure be Gumchita, and Ukigan, I get Kogu shape a crane. If you want to check the pass, Gaga Pesi. Imagine if the Konabandaban pass, I like him. Mm. Yeah. And, and let me go to Percy with that because positioning is everything um, within a, a football player. I'm not sure at Anderlecht how, how you're dealing with it. But when you come to a national team and they ask you to play a slightly different role, how did you feel about your positioning in that game against Zambia? Uh, look, I think that's a new system that we're trying to look at. I think we played it against uh, in the Afcon against against Egypt also, but I know it's it's a it's a new system that has so many dynamics in it and so many roles, different roles that we have to do, and so many instructions. So whenever we miss the instruction, it, it doesn't doesn't sit well. So I think there were moments that we didn't do it well, and there were times that we did it well. So, and yeah, you just have to, to play sometimes with what the coach gives you and then try and make it the best way. Because I think we've got enough players to play, to rotate in the positions that we have up front. And sometimes some games demand us to play a different system. If you can remember also when we played Libya away before we qualified, we've also played a different system there. So sometimes it depends on what the coach wants from us and how much information are willing to, to take in in the short space of time because it would be better if there were more days to learn most of the information that it gives us yeah i, I was saying actually to junior earlier and, and, I, and i'm glad that you mentioned that is that the strange thing about a national team and that's why when you're a national team coach you got to understand the dynamics that you don't have as much time as you do when you're a club yeah. coach where you're still teaching guys 
simple yeah. things, trapping, passing, dynamics of yeah. how to utilize the full length of the field, how to utilize wing play, how to switch play, etc. You don't have that time. You just have to work no. with the best players that you've selected from around the world that are South African and who can play for the national team. And you give instruction. All your job is as a national team coach is then to give instruction, to give motivation, and to allow the guys to play. The rest, how much you done? You guys are professionals by now. I mean, you don't need to be taught those basics. So I, I fully understand and I agree with you because it's exactly what I was saying to Junior Offair, that that minimum time, and it's the same time that all national teams have around the world, is how you have to maximize it to get the best out of you, out of Keegan, uh, out of Luther Singh, out of anybody that's part of the team. Yeah, Mr. Rob, I think the time is it's quite important mm -hmm. because when we got into camp, I think the first day they didn't train. The second day it was traveling, the third day that's the training. That's also the day I arrived there. So it, it's difficult. You don't have so much time to actually tell them or give them all the information that you want, depending on the opponent, depending on what the coach feels will make us better. Mm. And also we've got different players that come into the national team. We still want to have a look at them. And then we also still want them to integrate into the team. So And we all don't have time. So it's always important for us as players to have the relationships whereby the senior guys or the guys who've been with the coach longer give the other guys more information on the systems because you see the coach doesn't have so much time. He has to deal with the center backs, the middle fellas, the strikers. He has to look at overall the whole team. So that's why we, it's also very important for us to try and help him. Of course, we do video sessions, but then, uh, sometimes they are specific. It's either their own defense or attack. You can't, you don't have so much time. So we just try and make use of each and every time to learn from him. I, I know, Kenya, the ladies are starting to call. I hope it's not going to affect your flight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to miss your flight back. Otherwise, I, I know Vincent Company loves South Africa. He's been here a couple of times, but hey, that man can give you an uppercut. So I don't want to mess around with him. Tell me, though, talking about going back to your club, there has been news, which is good news, because I know since I've been interviewing you as a football player and you've been winning your man of the match, you've been winning your football of the season, you've been winning all sorts of awards. The one thing you've always said to me is your dream to play in the English Premiership. That is the one thing you always wanted to do. You still contracted to Albion. And I believe yeah. right now that Brighton and Hove Albion might recall and get you to be there in January. Are you hearing the same news that we are hearing this side? This is after you again. This is expected. This is after you again. This is after you again. This is after you I think they've, they've, they've always emphasized that, that, uh, that, that, uh, that view. Obviously, they always want me to be part of the team. It was just unfortunate with the regulations that were forcing me out. But then hopefully now things might change. So there is that possibility that if things change, I might, I might go back. I just don't know when, if it's going to be in January or in June. But then, yeah, it, it will be a dream come true for me. So whenever, whenever time it is, I'll be, I'll be proud and so happy to be in the Premier League. I mean, absolutely. When, when you look at uh, contributions that you made at Club Bruges and where you are now with Andelect, how would you rate your progress where you are now? I think I've, I think I've, I've done extremely well. You know, it's always difficult going on loan for two seasons. You always have to go to different, time, different clubs and teammates and you try and do your best. And I think in the... In those two teams that I've been to, I've, I've really tried my best. And uh, now I'm in a, another different team also. I'm also trying to find my feet and try and help the team. So if I were to rate it, I think out of seven, it will be, be there. Seven for me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so you found out about Lengue and Yaman Junior. Clean man. I think when you're in the Magakulu, if you've got players, if, if, if all the teams had proper from development yes. sometimes and then he had to be loan with banks first came back yeah because with the loan young long is a song about psychological really mad but yet to stay strong then in case the talent on us enough from fun and it's easy you couldn't think even and he is not scared yeah. taking players on massing about our players in south africa with the 
if manga ma ma player anje a dynamic anje taking defenders on when it ngale so skati me magmelu mteke on for create something out of nothing mas nga ba na banda banje is South Africa I see them we snatch no money we can we can compete right now yeah. so but mas zoba no muntu one so Ogani mchambi ba kona ba three four. Balance aye. Aye ki balance. Yeah. We understand that. So umchita, I, I, I wish other teams can can na manya ma coaches mm. when they develop in terms and kulma ngama South African. We and Brazil there's no different. Yeah. They take it development very serious. At the young age ba kipa ma player comfort zone. Mm. No umchita lo um, is properly developed. Ma umche kuna balance umchita. Mm. Um umchita it doesn't delay play well. One touch, two touch. It dribbling with one touch. He move off the ball and change the finishing is something else. Yeah. Who pays? Who was a good shy? Who was a good? There's a difference between good shy. Umbonil, Umbonil. No weekend wins in general. But let's go to coach. Just the other season, we played the UEFA Champions League. But you can't just go to the Bernabeu, La Pufige. You can't just go to PSG. Na kono ifigelu ibambeli kono. Percy, I mean, th those are big platforms for you, and we all felt so proud. I'm sure now. Uh, you, here we are in 2020. You reflect back and you say, "My goodness, here I was one day. You game in Jelapestrati in and then the next thing, here I am at the Bernabeu. Here I am taking on uh, PSG. I mean, that, that is massive, surely. Yeah, it is. I think when you've watched Champions League as much as I've done, you really take that moment to heart and be proud of your work and how hard you've worked. And you look at that at, at your journey and be like, I'm proud of myself because I was able to play against these clubs and, and also compete. There's a difference between just playing. I try to compete as much as possible. And I think we got good results in the, in the, in the past campaign. And I was, I was very proud to be part of the team. And don't worry, the South African people on Twitter will still take over. Wherever you go, we come and we take over. I'm sure now you are born with the eight club Bruges have lost their followers because you're not there. Under like Pezul. When you go back to Brighton and Hove, Albion, Nakon, Pezul. Forgive us. We are South African. Tata over everything. <laughs> and I'm sure you feel the love when it happens. <laughs> yeah, I always hear it from my teammates and everyone which uh, South Africans love to engage. Yeah. And they love to have, they've got a good sense of humor. That's what I always tell them. <laughs> and now uh, they appreciate their own prayers. And I'm, I'm just grateful to be part of those prayers. Absolutely. Um, I'm going to let you go. I, I could hear now. Sabe Kulmang, Africans, Lapugutia, you must go to your gate. I don't want you to miss <laughs> your flight. Um, I've got the coach that destroyed you guys over the weekend, Coach uh, Mitya Shodovich. He sends his regards as well uh, to you. He says, do you have a safe flight? Uh, he looks forward to seeing you when you're back in the country again. Percy Down, thank you so much, Mbadam Dala, for honoring us here on the show. Everything of the best. We wish you the best and continue this positive journey that you're on. Yeah, well. Thanks. Oh, okay. Thanks, Thanks, Mfano Mtani. Business class. Wokusha nge hot tower la pan. So, yeah, I mean, wow, what a remarkable gentleman. Thanking him so much and he's just taking time before he boards his flight back uh, to Europe. Uh, and as you know that he's been doing duty for Bafana Bafana and we do salute him for the time that he's taken to chat to us right here on Marawa TV. Okay, right now, coach says on again, but firstly, Hey, Zenza Lapawi Sundowns, Rolani Mokwen, Mangoba Mniti, Steve Compel. In, is it for a treble? About three. About three in the last season. So, change Luto in terms of the numbers. But, who tell when there must be a head? I don't understand. But, who Compel our shooty? Konawazo Kali Nyembez. But, what kind of tears, Asaz? Maybe there's more provocation now. Now that I've, I've been in football for quite some time, and sometimes there are other people who would want to maybe open a door and you are the key, yeah. and they, when they use you and then you get irritated. Now when you pinch me, Amy, I cry, and when I cry, I cry in a language that no, nobody understands. Because when you cry in a language that everybody understands, then they start finding a way to make you cry forever. But when you cry in a language they don't understand, it becomes mysterious and they wait, they pause, they want to understand your crying. And by the time they understand your cry, you are done crying. Hey. You wipe your ears, you sit back and relax. And when they ask, can you cry again? You say, I don't remember how I cried. Because now I found peace in my crying. And I'm moving on. I'm happy now. I'm another human being. I'm ready to resume my precious life that God has given to me, not anybody else.
there it is. There it is. There it is. Hey, Steve Compeller, they're just uh, munching the words that he's, <laughs> he's done so many times. But like we say, he's in a new home now. He finds himself at Mamlodi Sundowns. We'll chat about that uh, with uh, Junior Kanye. Utleinman is here. Uh, but more importantly, though, that important game that we're chatting to Percy Dow about, uh, Bafana Bafana up against uh, the Zambia national team. Um, I think we all remember everybody's missing him, former Pirates coach, and now doing wonders with the Zambia national team coach, uh, Micho Shredoyevich joins us in studio. Bob, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. It's my honor, pleasure and privilege to be here with two of you football people around me. I feel like fish in the water. No ways, no ways. Who will be the water? You or Junior? <laughs> Who will be the fish? You're the big fish right now. Firstly, congratulations. Great victory against uh, South Africa. I'm in a game where it had to take a lot from you to come from a position of being behind to then claim an equalizer to claim a victory? Uh, what to tell you, uh, first of all, even before coming to South Africa for the last 20 years, I'm servant and soldier of African football and following South African football, not being physically maybe here, but my soul is around. All these players that uh, have been called to Bafana Bafana, I know from the time when they first time kicked the ball, from the stories with the people I have worked with, through following and whatsoever and in any way I really needed to go to the deepest possible detail in order to prepare exactly moments that are uh, making and change that led to that. One of the most important aspects was that even in moment when we considered that goal we have not given up, we have really shown the character. And I had uh, a group of so-called firefighters, I call them. They are the players playing a local league mm -hmm. that are hungry, thirsty uh, uh, and uh, with mad desire to give the best, preparing for the Chan in Cameroon in January. And it worked uh, exactly the details that we have followed uh, because I need to be sincere with you. Uh, all of us, we are struggling football now and football before COVID-19, mm -hmm. they are not the same. Uh, you have seen even recently in England seven goals uh, Liverpool conceding. That is something unthinkable yeah. before. Yeah. But now football has gone in different direction. And we have exactly planned to the aspect uh, that I also heard, uh, despite not exactly understanding the words, but in between uh, the lines trying to understand. Yeah. Uh, that we have played very important role in moment uh, when we have been one mil nil down. Uh, impact of fresh legs of our players worked much better than impact of fresh legs of Bafana Bafana players. And exactly there was the passage where we used, uh, capitalized, but I don't want to blow out of proportion. I don't want to exaggerate. I want uh, to tell that uh, Zambia, uh, really appreciate South Africa th that you are giving us a handle support to have this match because this match is valued more than 50 training sessions. Sure. No training session you could set that could help you in this way. Mm -hmm. uh, match could go either way, it help us. It was like two boxers punching each other uh, <laughs> in an open game in any way. And uh, I think people have enjoyed. It has helped us mentally uh, to set and tune us for the matches against Botswana in November that I mean is so much to us. Mm -hmm. Two African Cup of Nations we have missed. We have lost first two matches, co uh, scoring one and conceding seven. Now we are building a momentum and with absence of two crucial players, um, Enoch Wepo and Pat Sondaka playing in Red Bull Salzburg in UEFA Champions League. We believe that we shall have the squad that will have what it takes to get the points and return us in contention for the Africa Cup of Nations. And it's an important phase, though, because like you were saying, uh, peeling off what uh, Junior was talking about early on, just the strength that came through and how you were able to manage your bench as opposed to what is happening on the field. Because just uh, before you made the substitution, Sikombe had uh, a great chance, yes. you know, in the box, jersey number 14, Junior. Yes. He, he could have killed it off then, but you managed to manage that situation well up until you brought him off and who to bring in was going to be important. And all of a sudden, the game dynamic changed and you were able to play your pressing game. You were able to overload the wing where South Africa had made their substitution. 
Tell me about that, because I can see from your expression <laughs> that... <laughs> <laughs> Look, they were, they were making the change uh, with Innocent Maela coming. Yeah. Uh, and you know him very, very well, oh, obviously. Of course, yeah. with Nodada and Wala coming and whatsoever. And uh, generally, uh, I, I want to tell you, South African players, as, a per, as a hypersensitive players, they, they make one very serious mistake when they come inside. Mm to myself, I'm telling to my Impact of Fresh Legs players, w w w when the game starts, you need spiritually to play that game uh, to see where we are lacking and where we are leaking. Hmm. Uh, so that spiritually you are present inside. Do a an, an proper warm up, come, and first, what you need to do before playing football, you need to be extremely aggressive to get the temperature of the game, uh, very simple to get confidence of the game and then do what coach has told you to do. Uh, I have not seen this from the players that m uh, my colleague uh, Mole Fenseki mm. put because they have come in in a relaxed way thinking I it will happen the way That's they true. want yeah. things to do. But with me, I have really psyched the players in a way when they when you are coming, your special command of for, uh, forces uh, to uh, change the game in direction we are supposed. So that because when the game starts, it's hundred percent both teams. Mm. When the game goes, it goes down, and then impact of fresh legs make you going up or down. In our case, it works, and I really want in expelling the captain of the national team after. Uh, Kenya friendly. Yes. Uh, and I need to tell people z in Zambia they are talking and even people have commented internationally how it could happen. You know, Zambia in two matches of uh, qualifiers and against Kenya conceded nine goals in three matches, three per match. Yeah. And that chemistry in central defense didn't work. And I measured the player in the national team, number one, how he becomes in the camp, mm -hmm. we, how, how he correlates with younger players, how he accommodates them, what he does in that aspect. I look how he contributes as a professional in big team like TP Mazembe uh, in the training, uh, giving a uh, really role model and positive example uh, way. And then in the matches contribution. And all these three things were lacking with the captain of the national team, Kabaso Chongo. So I wanted to try an, a new chemistry in central defense and overall with the team. It worked as a shocking aspect because the uh, uh, point is that nobody is not above the national team, nobody is not bigger than the jersey of nation, and as a such, uh, it worked. And in the future, we shall see how things will go. But for me, sorting the issues in the dressing room, sorting the human relations that have led that a big footballing nation like Zambia that has won African mm -hmm. Cup of Nations 2012 and missed 2017 and 19 and lost first two matches, first thing that we need to sort is uh, chemistry in the within dynamics us, as well the, the the dynamics yeah, in, yeah, yeah. in within the team, people to feel a cult of national team. This is something what, for example, uh, Bafana Bafana had 1996. As I said mm -hmm. uh, from his side, um, it has kind of evaporated. But I really wish, because I believe me, in neutral way as a person, uh, I have come to South Africa, but I have accepted you, your culture, tradition, style of life, habits, uh, your past, your past, your present, and looking into your future. I believe that you have everything. Mm -hmm. That cult of national team need to come back. For me, is very strange. And when, in, I don't know whether it's still existing, but I know before that you, ha you, you are having something called a match appearance fee. This is not existing nowhere in Afri or in African continent. You're playing for your nation with your heart. Give the top bonuses for the winning. Mm -hmm. But appearance fee, this is something. Listen, uh, this is payback for what nation, uh, 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 mm -hmm. for what football has given you, where you have grown, returning to, because f uh, so football... For, for Zambia, the, you, you didn't give any appearance fees, so... Huh? <laughs> Let me tell you. Uh, nothing you are having uh, you are having to play n not appearance fee yes your appearance fee is honor pleasure and privilege playing for your nation We're in the but then when it's question of bonuses right. this is where 
you need to put because pl players need to be motivated in any way. And uh, I, I did not intend in negative way mm. towards Safa, towards mm. coach, towards players. But I believe uh, you need to put puzzles in the right mosaic because I believe there is not strong African football without South Africa putting strong food there and showing. You have everything what it takes to be there and I, uh, as a uh, person that uh, respects the people, love this country, uh, I really wish this to happen in times ahead of us. Hmm. Junior Kanye has been listening. Yeah. And uh, I want your reaction, especially what he talked about when he, remember we were talking about Ama, Ama reserves and what you bring out of mm -hmm. the bench. And he mentioned the two L's. You look at what you're lacking and what you're leaking. Mm. So, as So first of all, uh, I, I love, I, I like to, to, to compliment the coach for man enough. You, you heard him when he's saying there was a, a captain that was appointed by the Zambia national team here to came, mm. come and, and look at that captain and obvious when the research, he did the research with that captain and then he find those three elements that he was looking at, he lacked all of them. Mm. And then he had to let him go. And it shocked the national team and, and somebody. the nation. I'm yeah. saying the nation as a whole. Yeah. And then it had to approach somebody, uh, 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 and then it was different. But it takes a real man. Mm. It tells you a national team in South Africa that uh, as a coach, is here, the sub that he's doing, if you're a Muslim coach. Yet the coach, he, he, it's very important as a player when you put him on the bench. Mm. Uh, uh, I like the national team, the selection first, I love. Uh, I, 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 I've never watched that. Uh, those players in their teams, but in the, in the same day, uh, I couldn't see uh, those players coming from the pens. I'm saying about dropping the game. Mm. In terms, I, 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 Zambia, the way they started, when those players came, the intensity goes up. Mm. It tells you the depth and the readiness. You map, they take it serious. On the bench, they told themselves that I, I, I'm not on the bench. I'm here to study. I could listen to the coach now when he's saying, uh, on the, he want, when, you pr when you bring this up, it is very important for him to warm up properly mm -hmm. and also to study where the game is lacking. I need to add the spark. I need to do one, two, three, four. And then the instructions when the course come, you're able to do that. Mm -hmm. Because the intensity was very high. Mm -hmm. Those players, they came, they dropped the game. And in the sensitive position, here in the spine, mm -hmm. is Mvala. And the confidence was low. Mvala didn't have a, confi a, 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 a confidence. You bring him to Zambia. Remember how he was dispossessed? The goal number two. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So, so you could tell that the intensity was, was the instruction there. Yeah. Dispossessed quickly, he couldn't track back to it's a goal. retreat. Because yeah. he definitely showed he received the ball facing his ball. And then the speed, there was a the speed. Mm -hmm. And intensity tells you, Izamba, that they wanted to score. Yeah. And I love the coach, but I, I told you, Khutman. I saw the, the camera showed the, the, the coach when they, they were losing one nil. And then uh, go to, 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 mm -hmm. to motivate his players. Mm -hmm. It takes a real, another coach. Other coach is panicking. Mm -hmm. They're playing away. He was going to panic and say, why making shout that players? But he motivate, he's got to believe with those players. And those players, themselves individually you can see the body language mm. they, they they wanted that game most even themselves except the coach and the difference definitely between them and south africa they wanted mostly yes. because the talent in south africa they you could see they play with one game from the first we see there was no like a, a, a sense of agent in the last ten. Mm. they play with same game passing to all most backwards mm. sideways backwards and the coach what is that's what i'm saying first half i could see mm. states mm. first in south africa Two shots on target, it just passes down. Mm. You understand? Mm. And then in Zambia, more than number seven. It tells you the, the way you are playing now determine your future. Yeah. It tells you if Zambia, I said it to me now, when I was asked somewhere, I was watching mm. the game, Namanyama journalist, and they asked me, I told them that Zambia will win this game. Mm. Even if South Africa is score, but Zambia, even last 20 minutes, they asked, I said they will win. Because they wanted to push more. The way they were playing, which would in most cases, they, were they play behind defense in mm. South Africa. They turn defense to Ngutiba about face mm. It was most of three against two. Because South Africa full packs, I think the coach has studied. When they put to Mayela, he knows of Mayela <laughs> in our <laughs> front. He knows too well. Yeah, honestly, yeah, yeah. tactically, South Africa on the side. In Kulmanga, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a right back mm. and left. Tactically, poo, I'm sorry to say that. Mm. They go and sometimes both. And if so that's where you watch Kapamba, Mulanga, when they came in. Uh, Mubanga. Mubanga. Kapamba. So when they came through, and even just the involvement of the bench, even during those water breaks, it, it's almost like they are part of the playing 11. 
how they get involved. Yeah. So it makes your job easier because already that hunger is established from the bench before they come on. Mm -hmm. And when to mark, and you were taking on what uh, Junior was talking about, Vala well, gets dispossessed. And where does that go? Turn it around, difficult to track back, difficult to mark again, ends up in the back of the net. Why? Because, again, utilization of the ball, how it's crossed into the box, miss kick at times, whatever, from South Africa, they create their own mistakes, but you capitalize on it. Give me your thinking in terms of when and where and how, and given the tempo and the shortcomings that you know South Africa had. Um, uh, look, it's really unfair me, uh, I have the highest degree of respect to the coach, respect yeah. to, to, to football here, and now to try, it's easy to be the general after the battle, you know, yeah. and now to speak and boost and whatsoever. I, I have not come he no, here just for, to for, learn, just for, to for, 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 for the time, yeah, Chesty, but first thing that I, w I, I w when I'm speaking about, I will look at the chemistry in central defense, for example. Uh, for me, I would never put Tyson right and uh, Monteka Madisha left uh, due to uh, experience, captain, you are putting him left, uh, right footed stopper on the left side with less experience. This is first element. Second element uh, that I have seen is uh, due to the fact that uh, league recently finished. Players have switched off after how many 60 days going, uh, having families and whatever. Yeah. So it was like a balloon that is a bit lacking air mm. in a way. So the way people have reported to camp and whatsoever, the way I heard even from the coach and whatsoever, and see with my own eyes, you know, because I, uh, you have supporters are looking where, where is the ball. Uh, uh, people liking the players look at only their players, yeah. but us technical people, we are looking at all the pictures appearing in front of us. And when you look at that picture I have seen in the body language that I have not seen, except maybe Percy, that is in competitive aspect, mm -hmm. that the rest of the players are far from their uh, competitive level of the form. Uh, sharpness, we are, uh, eh? sharpness <laughs> in, in that aspect. So maybe match has come in an, a wrong time. Um, I deeply regret uh, and I really don't know what happened with uh, Lyle Foster because he's my boy from Pirates yeah. uh, that went I uh, immediately out. I deeply regret that situation. It was really, I, I apologize in the name of my player and, and, and us because it is really friendly match and, and, and I feel for it. I don't know which way uh, would go if he was inside to have, because you, all four players up front, you had their, uh, let me say so, low gravity uh, players, low gravity players that aerially hardly to, is meaning they are putting you down. So all focus you are putting down to press as high as possible, to limit uh, passes to them, to not uh, allow appearance of the pockets in front of your defense from where if Percy takes you in isolation, you are finished. If uh, um, Keegan is taking you in isolation, you are finished. So uh, exactly those are the elements because I, I didn't look at South African players as the opponents. I, yeah. I feel them as my own kids, mm -hmm. yeah. as my own players in any way. Home. No matter yeah. whether they are sundowns, pirates, from where they are, ever they are coming, I look at them in different way because over the years, even when uh, Co uh, Stuart Baxter was around, yeah. I have been very close to him, especially in preparation for the Libya and whatsoever, and challenges and problems and looking at and being a supporter because I have been part of the game here. And still from the far, I'm, I'm uh, respectfully looking and I believe that uh, it, uh, so, uh, Bafana Bafana has two matches against Sao Tome and Principe. Mm. This is uh, in the time when the league will properly start and form will lift up and in two crucial matches against Sudan away and Ghana at home. Uh, I, I believe a six-pointer against South Tom and Principe is very crucial. Uh, this will give them confidence for more after beating Sudan to have nine points. And this then brings you that even draw away in Sudan is taking you to Africa Cup of Nations. But to go to Africa Cup of Nations, not to be just a uh, participant, yeah. uh, South Africa need to be contender. Yeah. And I really wish you have everything and I'm 
from distance uh, supporter. I really wish you all the best. Yeah. No, thank you so much, Coach, because the, the, the main thing, again, is also with all our Zambian nationals that are watching, and a lot of them do watch the show, um, how will you conduct your camp now as we approach the 9th of November and the 17th of November? You've got uh, Botswana home and away in both of those dates. Um, it's crucial. The one thing you've always said, even when you were still coaching Uganda, is I want to take those boys to the World Cup. And it's the same thing that you said again to me earlier today. You know what? I want to take those boys to the World Cup. And when Judy and I watched and we were seeing how Zambia is starting to play and seeing the Micho touch that has come into effect there, surely Africa Cup of Nations, you've got to repeat it once again in terms of what you did when you won it a couple of years ago. Tell me about the possibilities and especially the preparation uh, for Botswana. I need to tell you, first uh, thing is to sort the human relations in, in the national team. Yeah. Uh, I have really, any doctor before uh, going is asking you for the history of your disease <laughs> whatsoever. So uh, you are looking at the aspect, what are the reasons and causes that caused Zambia not going to 2017 and 19 and losing first two matches. And then you uh, analyze the technical reasons on the field of play and you analyze outfield reasons out of field of play and relations between the people. And this is something that is first to fix because you cannot go and think that you have sorted, then you reach that you have uh, 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 camps mm -hmm. in your national team and divisions and whatsoever. This is something what first needs to be settled. That uh, serving the nation and providing the cult of national team that uh, you, uh, the player comes on the field, he looks there, right, left and back and see his best friends are on the field, the buddies. Then uh, when you are looking, uh, when engineers are, uh, are looking at the things, they are telling uh, worst case scenario. I would like to present you best case scenario for the Zambia. Mm. Road to Qatar 2022. Best case scenario is we have now uh, played the only uh, national team that has played three friendlies in the, this break. We played Malawi, Kenya and South Africa. Mm. And then when you look at these three matches are a uh, platform and test where we analyze what is wrong mm. to correct, what is right to keep it up and upgrade, and how we shall keep up and upgrade. You know, I'm planning out of FIFA days friendlies against Ethiopia and, Ru and Rwanda. Today, with my friends from Morocco, I got agreement that end of this month, I will go there and play two friendly matches. Oh, wow with their chant team, no, because they could not play FIFA, uh, 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 or FIFA days they could play the others that are coming from yeah. Europe, but Vidad, Raja Casablanca and other players from Morocco will be there to have those four tests. Because yesterday I had a few players that except playing local league and being totally unknown players, mm -hmm. uh, this match helped them to make steps of seven miles in improvement. These four matches that I will have before mm -hmm. Botswana will help us uh, to bring ourselves in having mileage in the legs for the players, having mindset to be prepared for what is expected. We are expecting a triple-decker bus of coach Adelam Rush uh, uh, of Botswana against us in Lusaka, and we need to prepare for that aspect. Then uh, we are having a away game in Haborone that is not an easy task because they have also ambitions. Also, Algeria that have not lost the game for three years have won there from the accidental corner kick. So it is not an easy walk in the park, but attention to the details, this is what will bring us. If we succeed to cross the bridge in November qualifiers. We are having Chan when uh, at present for the first time in after a long time, I have 75% of the locally based players. Wow. And I have established a group of uh, players that will go uh, to Chan in Cameroon in January. There we also want to promote our players at least five of them to go to play professionally. And with those that uh, Pat Sondak and Enoch Mepo playing in Red Bull Salzburg, uh, to wait for the march where we are expecting uh, to play Algeria at home and Zimbabwe away to try to go to the Africa Cup of Nations. In case that we succeed, as I 
total best case scenario. Then we are having situation in June at starting World Cup qualifiers and crazy six months where anything could happen. We want on the wings of qualifying to Africa Cup of Nations to enter in World Cup qualifiers against Equatorial Guinea, Mauritania and Tunisia and to look uh, for the first time to go to Africa, uh, to the World Cup. This is a dream, this is a process that I believe. I go to sleep mm. uh, dreaming about this. I wake up sure. uh, uh, yeah. uh, uh, dreaming with open eyes. And uh, this is what it is uh, in that regard. That is, you know, <laughs> that is the craziest thing because, Junior, I'm sure as, yeah. as we wrap things up, the one thing that's going through your mind is, my goodness, this man has a plan. He has a plan not only for the national team, he's talking about the Chan tournament, he's talking about the I being there on the World Cup, he's talking about the qualifiers. I mean, everything. He knows how many players are going to be releasing to focus on that tournament, focus on that tournament. What does that say to you as somebody who's mm. been calling for that yeah for South Africa, but we don't it's have a plan as comprehensive as that? It, it tells you with the knowledge that the coach is having. And uh, he does things, he knows what he's doing. Yeah. Uh, if the coach says, when you, when, you came, when you came in from, for instance, in this room, you need to check inside there and outside. Mm. Coach at when you go to, uh, when you arrive at uh, the task at the uh, Zambia national team, you had to check outside the national team mm -hmm. and in the national team inside so he, 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 he had to fix those things right and it doesn't happen overnight and then there's a, the squad of your lesson also now he had trimmed that squad definitely he had call number he had trimmed that squad mm -hmm. it tells you because he spoke about the captain that he was probably highly mm -hmm. rated but coach he had to look at those three mm -hmm. aspects and then he had to find nothing there yeah. listen yeah. It's not a simple decision, but he had to take that decision because he's, uh, he's going to be charged by results. So, it, 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 the e house, when you build the house, you don't play, you build it overnight. Mm. Now you can hear the coach that says, first, he's, he's every time when he, he, he went to bed, mm. he's always thinking about, uh, I want to go to the World Cup, but first, I must cross that bridge and that bridge and that mm. bridge. And it's not going to be easy. You had the one about the mileage, putting the mileage in the players' no. legs. No. Th that is such an important aspect because we sometimes fail to realize how important yeah. that is. So much. But it goes. I have leads. done this in Uganda. Yeah. Believe me, uh, oh. I have done this in Uganda, and Uganda is totally changed. My yeah. colleagues uh, have taken after um, Sebastian de Saber and, and, and Johnny Minkinstri now, and both of them. Uh, same like coach Zimbabwe that I met today has told me that he's appreciating what I have left as a platform behind in any way. footprint is there. That's, uh, that's, yeah. that's what I told you, yeah. Man Gucci. If you need something to work out, whoever's going to leave, is going to le le leave there. Yeah. Whoever's going to take over. For instance, I was making an example yeah. about, for instance, the national team now. Yeah. If somebody, if this one take him leave and take lift, Whoever's going to take over is going to be in big problem. Are we starting from Trouble, scratch? Yeah. yeah, you understand. And uh, because there's no footprint. I think you're right, guys. And 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 I'm yeah. and I'm cutting in because it's just simply because of time. <laughs> um, you and I can talk football the whole day. You know this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate the work that you continue to do. Um, South Africans love you, as they always do and always have. And I wish you the best of luck in your journey. Do come back. Let's have more conversations. Let's learn because it's all about the landing of football. And that's what, you know, Klein Mine and I try and do every day here yeah, is to do that. So thanks for popping by. If, if you could allow me, uh, I respectfully look at my first stint in South Africa when I have learned so much and go for the African football studies in different countries until 2017 when I was. I went. Uh, I, I have been here for two years and I want to appreciate all the football stakeholders from the coaches, my colleagues. I never had any conflict with any coach and whatsoever, very good relation, including now Pizzo Mosimane when he has gone, where on based of my exp experience uh, uh, six months ago and whatsoever, and his experience that he has. And I would like to say to all uh, great football people in South Africa that uh, I have been student, their student of the game, a student of uh, how to live life and love football. Uh, and I would say that uh, uh, and, and, and step uh, of uh, Pizzo going and becoming 
in uh, the biggest uh, Arab club with the biggest following and whatsoever is a step in the right direction. And after 20 years, I feel so satisfied inside myself because I was never thinking that, that this will happen. But in communication with the people there in the club, president himself that once uh, asked me about that aspect and a bridge has been crossed is I, I mean all of us we have reason to be proud because color of the skin is has finally crossed all the bridges and is not meaning anything anymore and I'm so happy this is so historical move for me same like Obama becoming president of America mm. in that way knowing how Arabs are uh, uh, generally thinking. Yeah. So proud about that, thankful to all, uh, all the stakeholders in the g of the game, in media, in coaches, in players, in everyone. Mm. I'm still uh, around, I'm away, but uh, I really uh, feel so tough inside myself. Ah. Why shy, coach? Why shy, um, <laughs> Thanks so much, uh, Kleinman. Thanks, coach, for coming through. Um, those colors that you're wearing remind me of uh, a jersey that was launched today. Uh, but it's a club level. It was all the way down in Howick and Guazulu Natal. Uh, that is where Sutoma Peshangone uh, moved to to launch their new jersey. And it was so harmonious. They were just there outside and told, Hebe, Hebe, Aige, Sonbon, Papa in. Hey, I see my son, see our food.